here we are we're going to do the other rear now and uh, same thing keep checking the pictures
Uh, I'm going to make another dish, so I'll be back with you in a minute. Right, that's another disc made. Now we can start work again. This is a reluctant one. Right, as we did before, we're just going to put a bit of a concave in the, uh, the top there.
Right, well that's the other ear. Um, I think we've still got work to do. That one's not quite as fine as that one. I think uh, something we probably need to do uh, is uh, maybe just deepen, just deepen this area here, same here. I mean we don't want to go too deep, but just, just say, uh, make it look as though the ears, away from the, uh, the head a wee bit. So, what material off this side, I think? So this thing needs to be rubbed down with some uh, sandpaper to get it nice and smooth because obviously these dog's ears are pretty smooth so that's what we want. Uh, I'm going to take something now and just put a definite mark down there. I'm going to try that little carbon tungsten uh, ball. I don't know if it's going to focus on it or not.
Right, I think we're going to leave us at that now. Things are dark, I don't know what time it is. Have a look, see. Oh, yeah, it's five minutes off watering time. We're going to take my rat poison. So, uh, we've done two ears. You can see we've still got. I like to take some material off here. Uh, we've got to work underneath here and smooth everything in and work around the back. Still got quite a bit of material around the back. Well, I think we're going there slowly. And if the uh, light's not very good in here, there we go. So that's it for today. Uh, if we can get in tomorrow, we will do. Uh, things are not too good at the moment, so I have to just grab time when I can. Uh, right, thanks for watching. And uh, what can I say? We've got um, a, uh, a viewer who was asking about the uh, aluminium shells for uh, working ram saw. We might just have a, a little bit of a session on that now. Let's take this mask off and I can speak to you. I'm just going to disappear and I'll be back in a second. Right, there's nobody really selling these shells for, for uh, squeezing up ramsaw, but you can buy material, you can buy aluminium. Um, you've got to go online and, and find some suppliers, there's, there's people online who will sell it. Um, uh, aluminium warehouse I think is one, that's a possible one. Um, so basically, if you can get, I don't know what width this is, uh, if you can get the width you want, uh, that's the main thing. And they'll they'll sell, send it you in. Um, they'll sell it, send it you to in, in the width and the thickness that you want, because I mean that's what you're ordering. So that's uh, 36 mil. Now that's probably all right for um, making these blocks out of uh, 37 mil maybe. Um, I don't know whether it's uh, so. That's 100 milli. Um, wide uh, and that's that's okay for your blocks now you buy yourself a, a chop saw and the right uh, blades you can cut these up um, that's probably one I've made myself and that's the bottom part of the shell so to do these sections here top and bottom um, you can get these hole cutters you can get them in any size you want so that's the first thing, you've got to draw your pattern out for, for the blocks, the size you want, uh, mark everything out, you could probably either mark it on the aluminium or stick the paper down on the, the aluminium, drill your holes out um, and then with a the chop saw, you know, just, just chop out what you uh, you don't want. Um, you know, I don't know, you, you might be able to see the, the saw marks in that one. Um, on, the, um, on the shell, I've got in chalk lying about. I haven't really. But very roughly, you can just about see that you've got like a, a U shape. Uh, it can be slightly more open at the bottom than the top. A lot of people argue whether it should be exactly parallel or it should have a, a slope in it. Um, I would say the preference is uh, your own. So again, you know hole saw, cut that section out there and then with a chop saw you cut these two bits out and you've got yourself a block um, and then you've got that, that fits in there you see and that's for squeezing up your, your ram's horn. Now as I say if you were going to do these parallel that's fine because your block is upside down and you just saw into this hole you've already made both sides. 
if you want it in an angle then you've got to just tip your block a little bit so that you get the angle you want can be done I made some uh, wooden jigs where you know the block sat at the angle I wanted and I got the cut I wanted uh, main thing is you've got to have the right saw blades for aluminium um, you can cut these on a band saw if again you get uh, the right um, blades and I'm thinking probably um, 60 to the inch and um, I don't know sort of what sort of width you'd want you'd have to experiment they do get clogged up very easily aluminium will clog your, your, um, your blades up and that's why if you get a circular uh, blade it's best to get one for aluminium and even then you'll get a bit of um, uh, material collecting and clogging up so you have to clean them but anyway as I say you can make these blocks uh, yourself it just takes you know a little bit of organization uh, you've got to find your material and then you've got to get organized with um, chop saws and maybe band saws and hole cutters and that's it so it can be done uh, there we go so we're going to leave you and uh, we'll try and get back tomorrow and carry on with this um, uh, pointer Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.